Hi, hello everyone, it's me again, Mama Riel, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a continuation of the lesson all about the properties of a parallelogram. And in this video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba hanapin yung mga parts ng parallelogram using the properties of a parallelogram. We are going to find those missing parts sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng properties of a parallelogram. Right? And sa part 1 natin, diniscuss ko na yung properties of a parallelogram and this video is the part 2 itself. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. So we have here a parallelogram math, M-A-T-H and what are we going to do is to find all those x enable for us to find the value of those, right? Sa properties of a parallelogram, meron tayong opposite sides that are congruent, alright? So, meaning to say side MA and side HT are congruent with each other. And when we say congruent, they have the same measurement, right? We have side MA is congruent to side HT. So, same measurement. Ibig sabihin, equal sila with each other. And we have 3x plus 2 is equal to x plus 4. Okay? And right after that, uh, i-apply na natin kung anong properties of a parallelogram yung nararapat sa kanyang gamitin. So, we have to find x naman. Hindi yung x mo. Okay? Char lang. So, we have 3x and then transpose x since ang gagawin natin is to combine the like terms okay or pagsasamahin lang natin yung magkakatulad since si 3x tsaka si x sila yung same so we have x as positive and when you transpose that would be negative x equal to 4 sino ba yung dapat kasama ni 4 etong 2 and si 2 ay positive dito kapag tinranspose magiging negative so we have negative 2 and then, just perform the operation. We have 3x minus x is equal to 2x. Equal to 4 minus 2 is 2. And then, of course, divide both sides by 2. Enable for us to eliminate 2 in here, right? So, both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. x is equal to 2 divided by 2 is 1. And there we have it. Nahanap na natin yung ating x. Pero, it doesn't mean na mahanap na din natin yung measurement nila. So, what are we going to do next is to substitute the value of x to the expression. Enable for us to find a measurement, alright? So, then we have 3x plus 2 is equal to x plus 4. And nakuha natin si x as 1. So, we have 3 times 1 plus 2 is equal to x. Yan. So, 1. Okay? Plus 4. And then, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. There we have it. Alam na natin na they are equal to 5. Okay? So, yun na yung measurement nila. And as you can see, we have already proven that opposite sides are congruent. They are opposite. That's why they are congruent. Same measurement. Alright? Since we have two sides that are congruent in a parallelogram, Siyempre, hindi pa tayo tapos dito, no? Kailangan din nating hanapin kung ano ba yung value ni side MH and side AT. So, we have MH is congruent to side AT. Of course, same process kagaya ng ginawa natin dito. Hahanapin lang ulit natin first si X enable for us to find their value. So, we have 2X plus 5. Ito siya. Is equal to 3x minus 12. And then, right after that, pagsamahin lang natin sa side na to, si 2x tsaka si 3x, and sa side na yun, si negative 12 and positive 5. So, we have 2x, and since we have 3x as positive dito sa kabila, when you transpose it, it will become negative 3x equal to negative 12. Okay? And then, since positive 5 siya dito, when you transpose it to the other side, it will become negative 5. So, we have 2x minus 3x is equal to negative x only. Since 2 minus 3 is negative 1, right? So, automatically, may 1 na yun. Hindi na lang natin siya ilalagay. So, we have negative 12 
minus 5 is negative 17. Alright? We're not yet done with it since kailangan maging positive yung ating x. Right? And x lang naman yung hinahanap natin. Hindi negative x. Alright? So, what are we going to do is to just divide both sides by negative 1. And then, syempre, negative divided by negative is positive. So, cancel it out. x is equal to negative 17 divided by negative 1 is positive 17. And there we have it. We have x is equal to 17. And then right after that, just substitute the value of x to the equation itself and able for us to find the measurement of this side. So we have, ayan, gagamitin natin, 2x plus 5 equal to 3x minus 12. And then substitute the value of x which is 17. So we have 2 times 17. Plus 5 is equal to 3 times 17 minus 12. So, we have 2 times 17 as 34. Plus 5 is equal to 3 times 17 is 51 minus 12. And 34 plus 5 is 39. And of course, 51 minus 12 is also equal to 39. Um, the measurement of this side is 39. And this side is 39. So, yun, na-prove din natin that opposite sides are congruent. Same sila ng measurement, that's why they are congruent. Of course, as well as these sides. Alright? So, ganun lamang kasimple. Just follow the properties of a parallelogram, enable for you to find the missing parts of a parallelogram. At dahil nga tapos na tayo sa pagkuha ng missing parts ng ating parallelogram sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng properties of a parallelogram, right? So, yun. So, the first thing to do is to analyze the figure itself. Tingnan muna kung ano ba yung nawawala. And after you found out kung ano ba yung kailangan nating hanapan ng measurement, balikan natin yung properties of a parallelogram. So, ano bang properties of a parallelogram ang pwede nating gamitin sa pagkuha ng measurement na yun? So, kagaya nga kanina, nawawala yung mga measurement ng sides. And meaning to say, ang gagamitin natin doon is opposite sides are congruent. Right? So, dito naman tayo sa mga angles. Okay? So, we have angle M as 95 degree, angle A as 55 degree plus X, and of course, angle H, which is X, yung hahanapin natin sa kanya. And then next is angle T. So, yun yung mga measurement na nawawala. And what are we going to do is to analyze anong properties of a parallelogram ang pwede natin gamitin. So, first thing is angle M tayo. Nakita natin na si angle M ay 95 degree. And yung katapat niya na angle is wala. X lang siya. So, from that, may apply na kaagad natin that opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Meaning to say, if angle M is congruent to angle T, and the measurement of angle M is 95 degree. Therefore, measurement of angle T is also 95 degree. Right? Bakit? Kasi opposite angles are congruent. ba? So, yun yung inaka-purpose ng ating properties of a parallelogram. Para mahanap natin or ma-identify natin kung ano ba yung pwede natin gamitin sa kanila para mahanap natin yung measurement ng angles or ng sides ng ating parallelogram. We therefore conclude that x is also 95 degree. Ayan, opposite angles are congruent. Yun yung ginamit natin. For the next one, we have to find x dito. And ang gagamitin natin dito sa nakikita kong pwedeng gamitin is adjacent angles are supplementary. So dito sa ating parallelogram, yung mayroon lamang value is angle M, which is 95 degree, and angle A, which is 55 degree and X, or plus X. So, pwede natin silang gamitan ng adjacent angles. Um, remember, when we say adjacent, magkatabi na angle. It is always equal to 180 degree or supplementary. Angle M is adjacent to angle A. We therefore conclude that angle M plus angle A is equal to 180 degree. 
Alright? And the measurement of angle M is 95 degree plus the measurement of angle A is 55 degree plus X. Dalawa sila. Kasi hinati lang naman natin yung angle dito sa pamamagitan ng ating diagonals. Right? So, we have the measurement of angle A as 55 degree plus X. Okay? Is equal to 180 degree. And then, right after that, since X lang naman yung kailangan nating mahanap, syempre, iwanan na natin si X dyan. Iwanan mo na X mo. Char. So, we have 180 degree. And then, of course, dahil kailangan natin itong ilipat, dalawang to, dahil nga X lang naman yung kailangan natin dito. So, what are we going to do is to transpose them to the other side. 95 will become negative 95 degree and positive 55 will become negative 55 degree. Therefore, x is equal to 180 minus 95 minus 55 is equal to 30 degree. And that's it. Yan na yung measurement ng ating x. We have 30 degree. Then next, isa na lang x yung hahanapin natin, itong x na to. So what are we going to do is, i-apply naman natin yung measurement ng whole triangle. The whole triangle measures 180 degree. Okay? And dahil nga naglagay tayo ng diagonal dito sa ating parallelogram, so nag-create tayo ng dalawang congruent triangle. Okay? And since we have 95 and 55 dito, And since we have 95 degree and 30 degree dito, what are we going to do is to find x dito sa isang triangle na to. So, iwan muna natin yung triangle na yon, Okay? Since nag-create tayo ng two congruent triangle when we put a diagonal in a parallelogram. Tama? So, we have 95 degree plus 30 degree plus x is equal to 180 degree. Again, ulitin ko, ang measurement po ng buong triangle is equal to 180 degree. And the measurement of a quadrilateral or buong quadrilateral is 360 degree. So, wag kayong malilito doon. Si triangle lang yung 180 and yung lahat ng quadrilaterals including parallelogram is equal to 360. So, we have to find x in here and able for us to find the measurement that is missing. So, we have 90 x, iwan lang, 180 minus 95 degree minus 30 degree is equal to 55 degree. And that's it. Yan na yung measurement ng ating x. We have 55 degree. Okay? And kung alam nyo din yung all about corresponding angles doon sa triangles, ito talaga yung magme-measure ng 55 degree kasi it corresponds with each other. etong dalawang angle na to. Alright? So, we therefore conclude na itong measurement na ito is 30 degree. Yan, 30 degree. And since we have 95 plus 55 plus 30 is equal to 180 and 95 plus 30 plus 55 is equal to 180 degree. When you add them up, the two triangles na na-form by a diagonal, the measurement of this parallelogram is equal to 360 degree or lahat ng angles niya. Right? So, ganun lamang kasimple. When you add 95 plus 55 plus 30 plus 95 plus 55 plus 30, that is equal to 360 degree. All right? So, I guess that would be all for this video. I hope you have learned something from me. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this to your friends. Thank you so much, everyone. And please continue to support Mamaria in this journey. Thank you so much, everyone. And God bless us all.